Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD in high country trim. I'm at the North Texas Auto Show. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of this one. All right, gearheads, like I said, I am at the North Texas Auto Show in downtown Dallas, Texas, and that is the new 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD in the high country trim. We first saw this when they showed off the new design at the State Fair of Texas right here in Dallas, Texas last fall. And here we can see the high country trim. This one is the 3500. This is the first time we've gotten some uh, extended time with a 3500, but I did want to pop the hood really quickly while I was up front here and show you exactly what was underneath. This is the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel making 470 horsepower, 975 pound for feet of torque, made it to an Allison 10 speed automatic transmission. The big story here is the improvement of low end torque, 25% more low end torque on this one, which really helps when towing some heavy loads. While we're talking about that Duramax diesel and its towing capabilities, I do want to show you inside the driver's door. We do have this handy trailering sticker that General Motors puts on all their vehicles. You can see conventional trailer, 20,000 pounds and then a gooseneck 31,000 pounds. So you can see as this truck is specced as a head country with that dual rear wheel with the Duramax, quite a bit of trailering capability in this one. But here we've got the updated styling for 2024. You can see we've got LED headlights, LED running lights here that kind of mimic an inverse of what GMC is doing with their headlights. Really like it, really cleaned it up. And yes, we get the bow tie here. The high country always had the bow tie on the heavy duties, but they brought it back to the lower trims. In fact, right over here, we have the custom. This is the first time we saw, have seen anything on the new 2024 custom. And you can see bow tie preservation society. We got our suit and tie here on the custom, but we are talking glitz and glam here with the high country. This is the top trim. And you can see we got a lot of chrome and a lot of bright work on this one. So very chrome in your face grill. We've got a chrome nose on this. We still have Chevrolet spelled out on the front, but you can see it is not as big and bold as lower trims were in the 23 and previous years. You can see we've got marker lamps all the way around on this one. LED headlights, fog lights, running lights, LED, all the things up front coming around to the side you can see this is a massive pickup truck and with those dual rear wheels it is quite a big vehicle in all directions all the way around this one does have power deployable running boards but because we are at an auto show they are already out i did want to come over here to the uh, information panel here to show you that 74.95 right there starting and if you've got your phone you can scan the screen get that qr code for additional information there but really good camera system on this because we're going to talk about uh the infotainment screen when we get inside but yeah letting everybody know you've got the high country with that mountainside right there we'll go ahead and go to the inside so we do have the updated interior with the 13.4 inch color touchscreen infotainment up here. We've got the full digital gauge cluster. Let's see, yep, I can actually get it to come on and show you very widescreen. Chevy and General Motors have talked about how they're always gonna go wide with their screens instead of vertical to show off just how big uh, their vehicles are, how wide they are, just how much room is in them. And you can see, that's hopefully this will work here in show mode no nope, not gonna work no cameras there but we've got all kinds of stuff going on in here wi-fi hotspots uh, my chevy apps and app store and all that this is powered by google we've tested it in other products from chevrolet we really like it works very well and then i did want to tell you there is a new trailering mode 
where you can add different trailers, different profiles, all kinds of stuff. There's a companion app for your phone uh, that helps keep you in touch with uh, your mileage on your tires on your trailer, all kinds of different information there for those who tow and tow with many different trailers so you can keep all that straight. We do get the digital gauge cluster up here. This one does have a 15 inch head up display. I've driven vehicles with that head up display. It is massive. You can control that right here. You've got your transfer case here, electronic, your drive mode switch, all your light controls, electronic parking brake, all your different controls here for your climate, your heated and ventilated seats, quick row of buttons here for different uh, things you might want to toggle on and off like your uh, exhaust brake, your lane keep, your parking sensors, you could drop your tailgate from here, your hazards and traction control. You've got your trailer brake control right there. Lots of room here in the center console with side-by-side -side cup holders because the heavy duties still maintain the column mount and shifter. So yes, column shifter preservation society. Here we have a wooden cover on that secondary glove box. And then moving down here, we've got an additional glove box. We've got power up here, USB-A, USB-C. Coming in here, we've got the household style three prong plug in there, Qi wireless charger and a USB-A and USB-C in here. This is wide enough for hanging file folders or you can have this Chevy uh, removable plastic bin right there. We have a little bit of storage on either side here and then lots of storage here on the door. Speaking of the door, we get more wood here, two person memory seats with exit mode, express up and down front windows, but not on the back. And then all your mirror controls here for your trailering mirrors. So we just kind of glossed over it. When Chevy came out with this new body style, 2018, 2019, uh, they went to a uh, mounted, mirror here on the side instead of up here in the window just for better airflow around it and everybody wondered what the trailering mirrors would look like we've had them around for a while now and we have a single post trailering mirror they do extend from right here but they are a vertical it's a nice look it's a little bit of a departure from what we're used to but still can get get on board with it very nicely back here we have a very massive back seat being a high country, we do have leather perforated uh, seats back here, and it is the up level back seat, so you do get hidden storage in the back and fold down center console. No panoramic roof in this one, we just get a standard size sunroof right there, but still plenty of room back here for back seat passengers, and you do get a nice view out of that smaller sunroof. You do get heated outboard seats here, USB-A and USB-C back here, a couple air vents and access to the cup holders there. So we have two cup holders here, cup holders in the center console, and then some more storage here in the door. Wood trim back here, perforated leather, still a very nice back seat as well. Closing the door, we come to the bed, the hardest working bed in the industry. We've got a nice step here that allows you to get in and get to your toolbox. Can't even get to that sliding rear window back there if you need to, but very nice usable step there on the side. Dual rear wheels here. So we've got Michelin 23580R18s on this high country, very chrome uh, wheels on the inside, very blingy because, well, it is the high country model. And coming around here to the side, you can see nice contoured and sculpted uh, shapes here on these very wide hips. Not chunky, not blocky, and very just cleaned up look here on the dual rear wheels. So really liking that look very much back here on the back of the Silverado 3500 High Country. And then yes, we've got the multi-flex tailgate. So multiple different positions, we've got uh, this for loading in long items. You can flip up the step here for a load stop so the stuff doesn't come flying out on you. Then you can close all that up. You can push both the buttons and now you can, you can see, get in a little bit closer to the bed without having the full tailgate to go over. You can even, even drop that down as a step, fold that up as a handle. And now, even though this is a very tall truck, you can get back into the back of it fairly easily. This does have the Chevy Spray Tech, Spray Tech, what do they call it? Sprayed in uh, bed liner. So we've got that high country branding back there. You can see we're uh, fifth wheel ready, gooseneck ready, and got plenty of room back here in this class leading bed. The cargo volume in here 
is the best in the business. And then, well, I'm gonna go ahead and climb down and show you from the ground here, but we do have power back here in the back. So there are some trailering hookups for your fifth wheel, LED lights back here, and then a power outlet back here. So very nice, very usable bed, but with this handle, you gotta be sure and fold it down before folding up the multi-flex tailgate. Back here on the back, we do get a bow tie courtesy of the multi-flex tailgate. If we did not have this, we would have Chevrolet stamped in the tailgate back there. In addition to that tailgate, we also have the corner steps here on the bumper that make it easy to get it into the back. So you can step up there on the wheels or on that step up there. Very easy to get in the back of this thing. Very easy to get in and around it, even though it is an absolutely massive truck. And the big story with these corner steps, this is actually where Chevy hides the blind spot sensors. No dead space here in the taillights, like on some other vehicles. You can see, I'll go ahead and show you, these taillights are a little bit different. They look a little more like the GMC unit. We do have HD there in it, but this is what the dual rear, rear wheel version looks like. Here's what we look like on the 2500. So much like the 1500, we get this little jut in right there. So just a little bit of difference here on the 3500. Like I said, it looks like the housing from a GMC unit, but very clean look there. Well, that is a very quick tour of this 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD High Country from the North Texas Auto Show. And you can come see it for yourself if you are in the downtown Dallas area. If you wanna see more from us, be sure and hit all the buttons down below, like, comment, subscribe, follow, ring the bell, all the things to let the algorithm know to show you more stuff from us when it drops. You can also find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can just head to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for me, from the Chevy booth of the 2023 North Texas Auto Show, until next time, gearheads, bye.